So, whether you're a slicer of the golf ball, you shank the golf ball, or maybe you just want more rotation, this will do the job for you. So a longish type of box is the best training aid out there by far. So if you've got one of these lying around, I'm gonna show you in this video exactly how to use it for these problems, and it's gonna be the best training aid you can ever have. So let's get right into it. I'm Jonathan Chan with J Chan Golf. Let's dive right into it. Okay, let's get straight to it. What do we do with this box? Let's place it here. Let's grab a ball and let's put this ball really just so it's really right around either the middle of the box or three quarters of the way up the box. So from this angle, if we have a look here, it is right around there. We could have it a little bit back if we want to. Definitely not back of middle. We want it either middle or just in between middle and front of the box. And we have this box, the ball in relation to it, set up to where the toe of the club is almost touching it. So, toe of the club almost touching it here. So how's this gonna help? Let's use our imagination a little bit. Let's talk about the shank first, because this is where most people use this kind of box for it. So if you are a shanker of the golf ball, your club is traveling into the golf ball on the outside of the ball line, whether that's from club path, whether that's from how you've moved your body to shove your swing more forward, it's gonna be traveling on the outside of the ball line if you're gonna hit this part of the face. So this box here, what's gonna happen if you do that? Bang, you're gonna crash right into it. So with having this ball set up here to where that box is just outside the toe of the club, you've now got no wiggle room. So you are forcing yourself to now swing, approaching the inside of the ball line and exiting a little bit more left. So if we hit one here, it's gonna be ridiculously difficult to shank the golf ball. More than anything, you'll probably hit it a little bit toey. If you're a shanker of the golf ball, that's not a bad thing. Hitting it a little bit off the toe when you're doing a drill. So let's do one. Great, really good. So you can imagine, you're gonna be grinding that away, but I would very, very much recommend to watch a video at the end of this, and that is reasons to why you shank the golf ball. If you can figure out the root cause of why you're shanking it with a drill like that, you're gonna fix it in no time. So even though shanks are debilitating, they're very easy to fix. So you'll be able to fix them after watching that video and doing this drill, I can guarantee it. So that's one, slicing the golf ball. We could also see, again here, why it's gonna help with slicing the golf ball. Because if our path is very, very much on the outside, so we're talking about the path portion of a slice shot, so really coming from out to in, again, this box is gonna get in the way. We're gonna hit the box. So us just having a basic avoidance drill here, we're gonna be having a better club path. Because if I'm gonna miss the box, I have to travel a little bit more on the inside here. So a little bit more on the inside with this box, just generally just trying to miss it and I'm gonna be having a much more neutral club path. Just the box, that's all we're doing. We're just using the box here. Something that we can all use, especially, you know, golf season being here. Something simple. We don't preferably really want something all that technically complicated when we're in the golfing season. We don't wanna cloud our mind with too much technique. We want to dive into something very, very simple that gets us in the positions that creates a good feel for then us to transfer over. Because I can guarantee if you hit a bunch of balls here and you're a slicer or you're a shanker of the golf ball, you're going to get a very specific feel and then you take it away and you could still feel like the box is there and use your imagination. It's a great way to do it. So you can see it's going to stop your club pass from going too much on the outside very easily. You'll hit the box. What's another one we can do? rotation. So now if we make the ball instead be at right at the middle, exactly the same thing, same kind of distance away from the box, just the club just being or box just being on the outside of the toe, but we're having this now in the middle. So for this, if you had a longer box as well, let's say more of a box of irons, brilliant. That's when it becomes an expensive training aid. If you're buying irons just for the box, of course we won't do that. We want the irons. So Let's have a little look here. So how's this gonna help at all with rotation? It's just the box. So for us, if we're moving nicely through the golf ball, we're gonna have the club, so this is with good rotation, we're gonna have the club exit left around us. We have to do that with this. 
we have to have the club exit left around us. Otherwise, if it starts exiting right through the golf ball in this direction, which generally our rotation would have to slow down to do that for our arms to continue to travel past, we'll be slowing down and stalling out our rotation, of course. So for the club to exit left, we have to continue to turn. So if I have the intention here of turning, really getting good turn for the golf ball, not hitting this box on the later portion of it, I'm going to be having a little bit better of a turn through the ball. So I'm really going to have, like we can see there, that nice exiting left hand path. And why I like this box for this also, is because it promotes an inside delivery to an inside exit. So that's where a lot of people think into in isn't something that really exists. But of course it does, because if you're rotating nicely, that club's just traveling through the arc. The arc doesn't come out here, the arc just goes around us. So the club technically should be coming from the inside a little bit, and then as we're turning through, exiting there. So this is going to promote that to happen. So if I don't hit it on the back, so I'm coming through the golf ball before it, and I don't hit it after, I'm going to be having great rotation. And I'm not going to be cheating that exit left by coming across it from an out twin swing path. So let's hit another one, and you're going to see some good rotation. Really have the intention of turning on this one as well. So really, really good. This is awesome for me because I will sometimes stall out my rotation. Hands might have a little bit of a flip in them. This keeps me turning. It's absolutely brilliant. And it's just a box. You could even use a rolled up long towel. Just make sure it's tall enough to catch the club as it comes through. Brilliant, brilliant one here. Ironically, even though I like this training aid, this is a box of a training aid, <laughs> Playmate. Very, very good training aid though, the Playmate. All Tour Striker products I actually really, really like. But it just so happens the box is just as helpful as the actual training aid. Funny that. So most of you, you'll probably have a box like that lying around and I very, very much encourage you to use it. It's not a stereotypical quick fix type of thing. Quick fixes are good. They're not bad in the golf swing, but you've got to re recognize that they are quick fixes. This actually makes permanent changes, which is brilliant. And it ingrains things into your golf swing without thinking too technical. And I know for a lot of you out there, you do think too technical because some of the questions you ask me are like, what well, coaches will talk to each other about. You don't need to know things to that amount of technicality. Like what is the pressure doing in your hands and all that rubbish. Get yourself a box, start swinging with that box, miss that box, you'll be playing better golf. So if you like this video, click that like button if you want more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video. So buy a $1,000 set of irons, take the irons out, throw them away, use the box, you're good.